talk to me about that uh, shyness and how you are able to overcome that. Obviously, you get up on stage in front of hundreds, thousands of people, and you know you you control it. So That's how an interesting? It's an interesting one. That's a good question, man. Because back then, I didn't control it. I was very introverted. I was so introverted. I had dreads that were over my eyes. I had a hood over my dreads, so I was like this. I didn't want you looking at me or, you know, I was just so self-conscious and at the same time doing these things that pushed me, forced me into the light, right? And, um, you know, I was so shy. I used to pull my jacket over my hand. Like, you never saw my hands. I was completely covered up, just always. And uh, I remember the first show we had as a group, you know, Living Legends before it was really a group, was not too far, not too long after I made that first project. And these guys were drinking before the show. And I'm like, let me get a drink because I'm so anxious and nervous. And I realized right then, oh, alcohol makes me feel less nervous. And so that that was simultaneously my way of dealing with the shyness, which is the wrong way for me, because I would learn soon that I was an addict and it would take me way deep down the rabbit hole in the wrong direction. Eventually, I would get clean in 2005 and do my first show clean without any substance. And I'll never forget how nervous and butterflies were swarming. And as soon as I got on that stage and we started going, then it was it was gone. It was transformed into this energy where instead of hiding on stage, I was completely open and I could see everybody's faces and I wasn't afraid of that. And that became... Um, a spiritual kind of high on its own. And to this day, 26 years, seven years in, since I did my first show, I still get butterflies. Like, I just did a show with Grouch uh, a month ago. It was a big festival in L.A. There was 8,000 8, people at our stage. And right before I go on, I'm, I'm just like, okay, here we go. But I know that once I go, once the song starts and I start going, it's going to go away. You know, shyness extends past just being on the stage. There's been so many levels of me breaking through over the years. What it takes is just doing work on yourself. And I think Alan touched on it earlier, just pe beginning the process of peeling back an onion, which began for me in recovery when I started going to meetings and getting some time clean and going through 12 steps. So you start working on yourself, peeling back, understanding I act this way because of this, and where does that lead me? And it always leads you deeper and deeper until you really start making an effort into uh, deconstructing, unlearning, as Alam said, what the lies you told yourself your whole life, why you tell yourself those lies. And it's it's a never-ending, lifelong process that I... It sounds like if you say that to somebody who hasn't even started doing that kind of work, it sounds like, oh, my God, this sounds, you know, what do you mean lifelong? I don't want to do this for life. But it becomes joyous and freeing and it becomes something that you look forward to making those breakthroughs. So, you know, throughout the process of my career, it's been just breaking down door after door, peeling back onion layer after onion layer. And, uh, it, the you know. It continues, as we say. Alam, I wanted to ask you, uh, having your dad be such like a rock star, that's got to be pretty daunting for you to get up on stage. And, you know, people might know your dad and, and uh, judge you as a result of it. How did you overcome, you know, that self-doubt or any lingering fears that were internal? Well, I haven't. I'm still working on it. <laughs> well, that's, that's honesty. Nice. It's a, it's a, when you walk in shoes like that, um, you just can't, you have to walk in your own and you have to not really care what everybody else thinks about it, you know? So when you have someone that's so revered, um, then in that sense, you'll, you'll, let me put it this way. The only thing you're responsible for is when you fall short because if you're good then someone says of course you're good you're the son of such and such it's in your blood <laughs> you didn't do anything to get that you don't spend your whole life battling with should i do this or not but if you don't do good oh yeah that's he that's him that's all him he can't he's not his dad 
So no matter, and that it's, it hurts, it's painful. And it's gotten me, giving me a lot of, you know, stuff in my brain to think about, but, um, I know what my father thought of me and my playing. And I know the reason why I want to play the music. And that's what I try to connect to. I try to connect to that, that uh, spirit, that love and that kind of uh, power that's in the music. And so for me, um, you know, uh, that's kind of what I. That's kind of what I do. I, I'm still nervous when I play, and you know, it's classical music. It's uh, you're 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 looked at so uh, intensely on your technical playing, and then your other playing, and on the, you know, everything, everything. So in that way, there, I have to accept. There's always going to be people that are going to judge and not like and compare me to, and I'll never get away from the comparisons. You want to do something good? I do something great. Oh, just like your dad. Oh, it's just like his father. Oh, when I close my eyes, it reminds me of your father, your father, your father, your father. You know, it's rarely that it's anything that I do unless I don't play good. <laughs> so, you know, it's 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 weird. It's weird. And it's a, an ongoing thing. And like, I, you know, I'll be the first person to say I am learning and unlearning how to learn, however you want to say it, for the rest of my life. Because I think you're here on this planet to grow and once you stop growing, either either it's just the end of the line for you and maybe it'll connect in another life or, or what. But anyone that says, I know what's up and this is that and this is this, it just ends it all. And it's not it's not me. Um, so I'm always trying to learn and improve and be kind to myself and, uh, you know, uh, light a fire under my butt when I'm being lazy about certain things and see my problems and try to work with them as best I can, whether they're in life or in music. And but also with compassion, and uh, that's 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 the that's the mission, you know, that's the mission for me. You are listening to free your music.